Hey golfers, Drew Mahold back here at Second Swing Golf um, at the Minnetonka Tour Van location. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master fitter here, um, to take a look at some new Titleist drivers. Specifically for Thomas, we're going to look at the TS4 driver. It's supposed to be a low spinning, smaller club head. Um, obviously, you play the TS3 right now. Um, initial impressions just by looking at the TS4 um, and may, how it might compare to your driver. So first impressions, I'm really excited to hit it, by the way. I mean, I've put to tie this driver in the bag this year. First time I've had played a tie this driver for mm -hmm. a few years in my bag. Um, so I'm loving the TS3. I'm just seeing if there's maybe anything else that they're obviously yeah. better. Um, but my first official impressions, it does look just a tad little smaller, a little more compact head. Looks really clean, like very, that, that typical tightless pear shaped look that you yeah. typically get with a more, tra more traditional driver head looks very similar like that. So I really like the look of it. Um, I think the best way to kind of go forward is want to get after and hit a few shots. So I think yeah. let's just do that and then see what the numbers tell us. For sure, yeah, yeah we'll hit both TS3 and TS4 and uh, we'll see really what the performance differences are. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, um, first we'll hit some shots with your current driver. You're hitting the TS3 right now. Yep. Uh, and then we'll kind of compare with the low spinning TS4. But uh, first, just kind of get some shots here, get a feel for you know, what your normal uh, tee shot will look like with the TS3. So. Sounds good. All right. Now you like to play a little bit of a draw, usually. I do, yes. So I actually have this thing set a little bit upright right now. For me, that right shot, you know, it's been a little bit of a problem. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's the uh, typical setting that you have um, with your TS3? Yeah, so right now, this is an eight and a half degree head. I actually have it up point to 9.25. Okay. Um, and I have it set at the D3 setting, so it's a degree and a half upright. So okay. up about three quarters of a degree and then also upright. For me, I like to you know, know that it's gonna maybe go a little bit left off for me. That's the shot that I don't like. <laughs> shot that you don't want to see, huh? Yeah. It was smashed. Yeah, it's fairly low today. I had lower spin on that one. Yeah. This is the one reason why I went with this driver originally is because it was the lowest spinning driver okay. of the ones that I yeah. originally when I was, you know, sure. hitting, I was spinning it at 26, 2700. I was just trying to lower that. Okay. I was trying to get greedy essentially. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh yeah. There you that go. was a little bit better. Spin still kind of. Kind of low, but yeah, spin is very low. You're hitting it solid, that's for sure. Yeah, let me hit one more with my driver, and then we'll jump over to the TS4 and see how it looks and feels compared to mine. That one might spin a little more. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's your uh, that's your kind of trajectory that you're used to right there, isn't it? Yep. That's, if I could hit that shot every day, my boring little drawer, I would kind of love oh, to love Boring to is good with, with tee <laughs> shots, right? Down the middle, that's, that's what we Boring is always good, if as long as oh, it's yeah. consistent. So, so now I'm going to give you the TS4 yep, head. Let's switch um, that out. So um, we have we're... to kind of make a little adjustment here. So this, this head that tied the Santos was, that was the 9.5 head, correct? Yes. Okay, so to get as close as we can, what we'll do is we'll put that at the A2 setting, so mm -hmm. this mine's at 9.25, so it's going to be sure. pretty close overall. Yeah, just to match as close as just we can. Just to match as we possibly can. Yep. And what shaft are you playing here? So my, my driver, this is, this is my, my current shaft. This is the Tor AD BB6X. Okay. And uh, I guess when you get a chance right here, when you're, we got it, when you got the head set up and everything, Look down at it and give me just your first impressions yeah. just by looking. Obviously, a smaller club head, 430 cc versus 460. Oh, yeah, um, this is definitely smaller. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely tell. Yeah, smaller and more compact. Yep, definitely smaller and more compact right there. Oh. 
That was nice and solid. That was not hit in the middle of the face, but. A little bit higher? Went straight, yeah, that was a little high heel. A little higher on the face? Yeah. I kind of presumed that just because, I mean, your, your spin rate was, it's a good spin rate. It's just like. Yeah, it know, was higher, higher than, than what than I was hitting mine. Expected, so. Yeah, that was a little off the heel. Maybe that's just me just trying to find the middle of the face a little bit smaller. I'd like to see head. myself hit off the heel like that and hit a 295 <laughs> down the middle. Well, that's a good example of, you know, a lower spinning head. If you do catch mm -hmm. it on the heel, you know, it's the still, fact still yeah. spun, spun under 3,000, sure. that's very important. That was bottom of the face. Yeah, definitely a lower uh, ball flight there, but again, yeah. you know, you're right down the middle. The dispersion's pretty tight. It's I like haven't hit this. I have not hit this thing good yet, so. <laughs> yeah, you're due for one now. I'm due. <laughs> Two off the middle is going to definitely make me want to hit one solid. That was definitely user error. <laughs> so what's interesting well, from what I've noticed so far with this driver, like I mentioned, it does definitely look a little bit smaller. Um, off the club face, it feels, it doesn't sound quite as loud as, as, my, as, loud. as my driver. It doesn't seem like it's quite as loud. I don't know if that's having all that weight pushed up the front, mm -hmm. maybe, as opposed to yeah. kind of all the way a little further back. Um, now, just you, 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 you a little said bit you more muted. Sure, and you yep. said you haven't hit these 100% solid yet. Yeah, how no. Would you, how would you compare the miss hits on the TS4 to the TS3? Well, the first two, you know, they still went fairly straight. This mm -hmm. last one, I left my club face, you know, wide open. Yeah. So that's why that one went to the okay. right. So I know that one's more kind of user error. But let's let me hit a couple more. So you're going to find the middle of the face. Closer. And what we could actually do is probably take that third one out because that one was yeah that's about as an outlier. I, can I, I, can, I know for after watching you hit golf balls in here quite a bit that uh, that's an outlier for you. How'd that one feel? I mean, it, it felt pretty good. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I have not hit it my, my best. Come on, get, hit one good swing. <laughs> What's interesting to note, like, even though with not hitting my best, yeah. you notice that was still you know, fairly, fairly straight overall, oh, which yeah. is All which important to note. I mean, that yeah. dispersion is very tight for having kind of varying contact yeah. uh, differences, you know? Correct. That was finally hit a little more solid. That's your deepest one yet. Deepest one, yep. Yeah. All right, let's try one more here. Finally solid, smash factor 1.50. I finally oh, yeah. got there. <laughs> That was also fairly good. Yeah, those last two are pretty good. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. So kind of that six. nice little draw that you're looking for on both yeah. of them. Yeah, so I will tell you that this size of this head definitely makes me feel like I need to really, really try and find the middle of the club face because okay. it is a little bit smaller yeah. um, than what I'm playing. However, you know, we will notice even with those couple that I miss hit, dispersion was a lot tighter yeah, um, and that, that's really important there to note there too. So that was what, six versus six right there. Even with the one outlier that I've got right that's out here, mm -hmm. you'll still notice that you know dispersion was still quite a bit tighter. Yeah. It's kind, kind of, of hitting that little bit of a draw with it. It's a little bit surprising to see that kind of forgiveness maybe out of a. a it is actually head. very surprising. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I would have expected this would be just kind of designed for a player that really needs just to reduce yeah. that spin. Yeah. 
I didn't have a problem, you know, hitting it fairly straight overall. Mm -hmm. Like I said, a couple of swings I didn't feel like I hit. I mean, you usually don't have a problem hitting it straight, but I mean, (laughs) even I mean, like you, I mean, you did say you hit cut one off the heel. You were missing them a little bit, and yeah, they are still traveling. You know, they're still carrying what 280, ending up 300 yards of distance. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yes, fairly solid. Yeah, it did. Um, you said looks a little smaller. Doesn't maybe present as much confidence as what sure. I've got with mine, sure. 460 versus 430 cc's. Yeah. You know, I can definitely notice it. Um, but numbers, you know, they, they, they didn't lie. I mean, I still, yeah. still perform pretty well overall. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look and see if there's anything that does stand out with regards to spin. Um, we did notice that with my driver, there was a couple out there that was a little on the low side. Um, so what's interesting Spin rate was, you know, just a, actually a tad higher uh, overall, and I did have that one here with mine, a little bit kind of that low 1500 yeah. r- RPM spin. That's probably more like an outlier. Um, that one was actually pretty much pretty solid overall. If you do that, you know, they're pretty much kind of st- spinning the same. So similar. Um, what I would say if I kind of take that one away is consistency, you know, about the same between between them. So really interesting. Um, Smash factor was 1.49 with the TS4 versus 1.48 with 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 my driver. It's they're launching about kind of around about the same. They both got the same amount of loft on them. Um, I was swinging at it maybe ever so slightly harder. Yeah, maybe I the, the ball this. speed increased a little bit too. Yeah, but the ball speed definitely increased because I was hitting a little closer to the middle of the face. So mm-hmm. my smash factor really, really solid. Um, and let's see if there's anything else that stands out to me. Did fly just a touch higher than mine um, overall. Mm-hmm. And that's, so one thing you do notice with the, with the head that is a little bit less forg- forgiving is notice that just the, the sparing see between them. So now I've got 54, 58, 113, 126, 113, 108. So pretty, pretty wild numbers, but even yeah. on average 95. We look here, 89, 84, 70, 70. So you know, I wasn't swinging at the best today, my, my yeah. s- essentially what I'm saying. But you look at the screen, you know, you can see the dispersion was, was yeah. great overall. Um, we just seeing a little, maybe a little more consistency with, with this driver, yeah. keeping that spin rate down consistently. So we sure. never got one, you know, that really kind of essentially got over 20, 25 and 2600 RPMs. So we got one here, mine 2800, 26th. I think the biggest thing we probably t- could take away from it is, yeah, it looks a little smaller. Um, it's designed to spin less. So mm-hmm. if you have that high club speed person that may be cutting across it, hitting down on it, yeah. spins that ball a lot, this would be a, a great option for them. Um, but one thing we just noticed is it, it was, for the size of the head, it was extremely forgiving. Mm-hmm. That's probably the most yeah, important thing that, that, we, that we noticed right there. I mean, that dispersion right there, it yeah. kind of tells it all. I yeah. mean, this is my current driver that I currently play, the, the TS3, and I was hitting this thing straighter than my driver. Sure. So mm-hmm. that's my bag that I, my club that I chose to put in my bag this year. Yeah. Big, big difference right there. So Absolutely. I think that's, that's important to note. All right, so Thomas, we hit the TS3, we hit the TS4, kind of in your unique settings. Yep. Um, what were your big takeaways and kind of the differences you saw between the two? So biggest takeaway was, yes, looked a little smaller club mm-hmm. head than what I may be used to, 430cc versus 460cc. It was definitely noticeable. Sure. However, even though it was a little smaller head, you think, oh, maybe it's not going to be quite as forgiving. I wasn't hitting it maybe the best today. My dispersion was actually a lot tighter yeah. with the TS4 than it was with the too. TS3. It, it actually shocked me. I was really surprised, you know, how forgiving yeah. it was. I mean, I, I honestly was expecting to it, for it to maybe just spin a little less, be yeah. a little bit wider dispersion. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was very forgiving. So that's sure. really important there to note. Because um, yeah, even on those shots where you kind of maybe thought it would be a little spinnier, yep. I mean, you kept it under 3,000 RPM Correct. the entire yep. time. Uh, so yeah, that was, again, we were going to keep hammering that home is that the, the forgiveness was a little bit surprising. Yeah, we didn't see a major difference. Now we're talking TS3 versus TS4. Yeah. Both are very low spinning hits. Yeah. So we didn't see all of a sudden like a major 500 RPM yeah. drop or anything. I mean, probably not going to see that with me having a you know, decent amount of speed as, as it is. Yeah. But what we did notice is on the miss hits, the spin rate still stayed down. Yeah. So that was probably the biggest takeaway. 
it's going to be a great driver for someone you know that maybe hits down on it, hits across it, maybe spins the ball a lot, yep. has a lot of speed. I think it's going to be a great option for, for them. For golfers out there that either have that high club head speed or maybe do spin it a lot, like Thomas was mentioning, um, I would recommend uh, the TS4 after what we saw today. Um, feel free to uh, either pre-order it online at secondswing.com or schedule a fitting with one of our fitters um, at any of our Second Swing locations. Uh, Thomas, thanks for joining us today.